What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is an exciting day, a day that I've been waiting for ever since we got the car. We're gonna start doing the wrap, so that's a good one. But first, I have to get the Z out of its parking spot and it's blocked by other cars. So we have to play car roulette and shuffle all the cars around to get the Z out. Normally I could just back the Speed 3 out, but uh, my brother didn't leave me any room between the Z and his car, so I can't do that. So. First thing, move the Fiat, move the Speed 3, then we'll pull the Z out, and then we're gonna pack everything up in the Z and get ready to head up to Danny's. So now that we got the cars all situated and the Z's out of the garage, there's a couple things we need to grab before we head up there. We need to grab definitely the wrap, and also depending on how lazy I am with editing, I might, whenever the wrap is shown, make the video black and white, because I do want this to be like a huge reveal for you guys as well. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know the color of the wrap, because I've taken pictures of it, but you don't see like how you just see the color, you don't really see how it shifts a little bit, you don't really see the depth of it, you just see a general picture of it. So, uh, like I said, depending on how lazy I get with editing, uh, I'll show the wrap, but it will be in black and white. If not, then you guys will see the whole color, like I said. But, uh, so what I need to do, I need to bring clay bars. Uh, I know Danny has them, but I'm bringing a couple extra, just in case. I'm going to bring, um, Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring a lot of bottles of water because right now here it is nine o'clock in the morning and it's already 80 degrees and 85% humidity. Where Danny's at, which is about an hour north of me, it's gonna be in the 90s with the same amount of humidity. So it's gonna be a hot day. We need to stay hydrated. Good there. So let's go ahead and load up the car. Oh look, there's the wrap, right there. Got the car all loaded up, we're gonna go get some gas and then start heading up to Danny's. Right now it is 86 degrees and I am less than a mile away from the ocean. So as we go up to Danny's, we're gonna keep an eye on the ambient air temperature to see how bad it gets. But let's go ahead and uh, get the show on the road. So we just made it to Danny's and now we are gonna start disassembling the car. First thing we're gonna do is get the rear bumper off, the tail lights out, and uh, just start prepping the rear end. Slowly working our way around the car to get it ready. So let's keep on disassembling. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's Danny B. yelling, Courtney. Yeah, buddy. So let's catch you guys up with where we are now. Uh, set the camera down because we're working hard, but so far, car's up, wheels are off. This part right here took forever to get this wing off. Obviously broke a couple clips, there's one here, one here, one here, one here. But uh, we can still put it back on the car, the bolts are intact, the wing is down there a little bit. We're gonna have to kind of reshape it. But Senor Danny here. We got ourselves off, we got the mirror off, and we got the door panel off to take off. Oh, now we gotta go for the door handles, and we got the window trimming off. We're gonna have to take the window trimming off back there too, and on the other side, but we got both doors off, and uh, both door cards off, and both mirrors off. Now we're gonna go to the door handles, and undo a couple things on the fenders, then we'll go for the bumpers. And then I think we'll be close to done off, and now we got this stuff too. A lot of trim on this car, I've noticed, because of the T-top, so. Just a lot of, lot of little things, but yeah, we'll get there. So another little update, we've gotten all the plastics out of the rear. We also have the taillights out, so you can see what the 300ZX looks like without taillights. Pretty funny. And Danny went ahead and he got the door handles removed as well. So, now that those are gone, those can be wrapped. So the next thing I'm going to do here is take off well, not completely take off, but just loosen the uh, the rear bumper and also this little plastic piece that surrounds the uh, the antenna here. So that's what we're gonna do next here. After we bag everything up here, label it, and put the spare back in here. We, we're making progress, boys. 
So we're gonna make a little run to the hardware store. Um, all the goop on right, top of here. Uh, we're gonna go get a tool that will go onto a drill and just kind of like, it's pretty abrasive and then just take all this off. It won't even be that abrasive. It's just something that- Or it's not even that abrasive. It, like, it's not sandpaper. Like, I know, I but it, it's more like, a, it's more the abrasive than like a- uh, It's uh, it's something that you can put on the end of a drill bit to just have some crazy. It's essentially, you know, this motion with your hand times a thousand. So we can just not have to do it with our hand. You'll, you guys will see it in the video. There, there you go. We're, we're gonna go do things in- What the hell is in my shirt? In Danny's blueberry and a shirt that's not his. So what we get, Danny? We got ourselves a buffing wheel. Essentially just a, it's not, you know, it's super soft, you feel it, feel it, Joe. Super soft, but. Oh yeah, but it's still rigid too. Yeah, it's rigid, it'll hit crazy high RPMs. Dude, we're gonna redline this bad boy and then just take off some ad adhesive. Did you show them the adhesive by chance? Yep, they already seen that. Well then, yeah, we're gonna see if this works. Watch it not work. Don't, don't jinx us. So while he works on that, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the T-tops again and take off that trim that's along the top and um, take off that metal piece. So then we can go ahead, get those actually, I wanna get those wrapped possibly today and then just reassemble them real quick and slap them back on the car. So those are done and reassembled and then we'll be good. So let's, uh, let's keep plugging away, making progress on uh, my, Torn apart 300ZX. All right, so where we are right now is I already got the uh, passenger side T-top disassembled, and Danny is actually gonna go ahead and slap on the first wrap onto that uh, panel, and then so I can reassemble it real quick. But uh, we're gonna do this piece by piece, and I mainly reason why I just said that, and I'm stuttering all over the place, so this is all gonna be edited out, or we'll do bloopers. But um, we're doing it this way because Danny has never assembled the, or disassembled the um, uh, T-tops and they are pretty honestly rough if you've never done it before. So it's better for me just to do it real quick, him wrap it, me reassemble it, and then it's done. And then he doesn't have to worry about it. And then we'll keep on continuing. So he's undoing the wrap over there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, brother. And then so far he's gotten a lot of the gunk off of here. He has a couple areas to touch up, but a lot of this is gonna be okay because the wrap only really has to come like just a little bit over here because then the wing is gonna go on top of it and then can cover and hold down. And then we're also gonna, once the wing goes back on and I get the car back, I'm also gonna re all along here. You know, make it all watertight and everything. So, things are happening. I mean, it kind of hurts because the car feels like it's torn apart, like it, well it is, but it's all for the better. Time for a little status update for you guys. We just got the rear bumper off. Danny finished wrapping the uh, piece that goes over the um, first T-top that's already wrapped down there. And now uh, I'm going to disassemble the driver's side T-top and get that off and him ready to wrap. And then I'm, while he's doing that, I'm gonna reassemble the passenger side and then after that, I'm gonna take off the remaining trim, which is just right there on the rear windows. And then uh, we're, we just gotta do the front bumper and then like we're, we're done. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let's, let's keep on working. Damn fenders. And yeah, Dan, Danny, yeah wants, Danny wants to play with fenders. So, well, we'll keep going. So unfortunately we're running completely out of daylight here and we don't have that many lights inside the garage. So we're actually gonna call this for today. And actually this is gonna be the last time I see the car until it's done, which is gonna be crazy. We already have, what we've done so far is uh, taking everything off. So it's completely stripped, ready to go. And then we've wrapped right here. This is, hopefully this will be black and white if I'm not lazy while editing. But all this right here, it's been wrapped and uh, Better be black and white. <laughs> Everything else, the front bumper is just hanging on right there. Rear bumper is just hanging on just by a couple tabs. And uh, everything is off, all the trim. This is a carbon fiber design that I'm actually gonna run along the whole thing instead of just that paint black. So. The color's freaking insane. Obviously it's gonna be a nice little detail at the end, but 
crazy cool color you can you uh you got not gonna say what it is yet because you better edit it out you never said the name so exactly <laughs> anyways guys that's what we're gonna call this video for today i am gonna get a ride back to where my parents can come pick me up and probably next video guys we'll see will be the this fin well, it was, it's going to be the throttle meet tomorrow for sure, but the video after that, I have nothing else going on until this car is finished. So, Danny's going to end it with his uh, old motto, um, drive fast, take chances. No, I stopped that shit. I was worried that people were going to kill themselves. Oh, liability. Okay, okay. If you okay. like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, still like that video. Comment what you liked about the video, and bye.